Hello friends. In this video, we will see how we can create branches using Git extensions tool. So we have currently only one branch that is called as master. And that branch is existing in the GitHub repository and Bitbucket repository both. We are able to see this branch on our repository here on the web. Here it is showing all the branches. So here it is existing only one branch that is called master. Here also, if we uh, look at the number of branches or names of the branches existing, there is only one branch called master. Now we are going to create a new branch at this point of time. How we can do that? We right click on the commit from where we uh, want to create the branch and we say create new branch here or we can use the shortcut key control B. So we think of a name of the branch that we are going to create and I want to create just a new branch. I'll say create branch. So now if you uh, look carefully here, the master and new branch both are available here and both are pointing to the same code point where all the changes are at the sink. If we see more carefully, the new branch is in the bold letters. That signifies that we are currently pointing to the new branch and whatever change we made on the local file, it will be made into the new branch and not on the master. Okay. We can also verify it from this combo box that what current branch we are at. So now we are at new branch. If we want to go back to the master branch, we can click here and it will point us to the master branch again. For example, if I click it here, it is executing git checkout master, which means check out the master branch at the local system. And if we look here, now the master is in bold letters and the new branch is not bold. So that means we are pointing at the master. But we want to make changes into the new branch. So we check out again the new branch on our local system. We go to the VS code, which has opened the file that is on our local repository. And we try to remove something from the code like this we save the file and if we go to the get extensions it is showing again that one file has been changed and we can commit it like before we move it to the stage area we just have a look that these changes have been made so here minus means these lines have been removed from the file and we can uh, put a commit message using the commit history or we can type it ourselves. So I would write it like this removed print that methods and that's what we are doing it here. I say commit. It is committed. Now, if you see carefully, this commit has been made into the new branch and not on the master branch and master branch is left here. And uh, this new branch is only at our local system because there is only red node present here. There is no green node corresponding to this new branch. In order to put this change onto our web repositories github and bitbucket what we need to do we need to push it so we say push we first push it into github and here it is asking that which branch we want to push so by default it is selecting the branch at which we are working on so if i push 
it is asking that this is a new branch are you sure you want to create this into repository i would say yes it is asking that make a tracking reference to this branch tracking reference are these heads uh, those are known as tracking reference so i will say yes If everything goes well it will show you with a green tick mark you say ok and now we see that this new branch is available on github repository with a new branch as a name so we go here and just verify that if that branch is available here now so I clicked on get concepts and if we look at here we see the new branch right now it is on master and if we see the get concepts.java it has print up method but if we change the branch to the new branch that method is no more existing here because we have removed print up method only on the new branch and on master it is ex still existing as we we can see here also that this method is present here but when we go at this commit, that method is gone. Same like before, we have pushed only on GitHub right now and we want to also make this change on Bitbucket repository. So we push again to Bitbucket. So this time, uh, this is pushing at Bitbucket's repository. And now we see that this new branch is present on GitHub and Bitbucket, both the repositories. And these changes on local are in sync with the web repositories. Similarly, the master branch is also there. And the local change and web change are also in the sync. We saw in the previous video that we can merge the branch to the master branch when we are done with our changes. So let's do this. In order to merge a branch into master branch, what we need to do? We need to first check out the branch in which we want to merge the change. So we check out the branch master. We are at the master now. We can also go to the Visual Studio code and see that this method is there. This indicates us that we are at the master because we have removed this on the new branch and not on the master branch. And now when we are at the branch into which we want to merge the change, we click right click on the branch that we want to merge and we say merge into current branch this new branch and we say merge okay so we now see that the new branch has been merged into the master branch and we say push on github and also on the bucket And now we can delete the new branch that we have created. So we can delete Bitbucket new branch. It is asking that delete branch from remote repository. We say yes. And we delete the branch from GitHub also.
and we delete the branch from our local system also so what we see here that there is no new branch now we are having again only master branch so what we did we create a new branch we make the changes this change removed print that method into the new branch and then merged this changed into the master branch and now if we see into web repository we will again see that there is no other branch than master because we have removed the new branch so this way like we did here other developers will also be creating branches and merging it into the master so this way everyone will be working with his piece of changes and if we find the conflict with uh, when we are merging the change into it we can resolve it but we will see it in later videos for now if you like the video please like and subscribe and if you have any doubts please ask into the comment section i will try to reply very soon see you